The next relationship type in the foreign keys list is complex relationships. These are relationships that have more than two entities engaged in a single relationship. And we don't have any of those complex relationships in our scenario, so we don't, won't handle that. The last one then is multi-valued attributes, and we do have one of those. So remember this user has a phone number. Phone number is a multi-valued attribute. To handle the multi-valued attribute, create a new entity and move the multi-valued attribute from the original entity to the new entity. So here we, here this has been done. We have moved the phone number out into its own entity. So that attribute is no, in, not in user, but in its own entity. Now we're going to copy the primary key of the original entity and add as a foreign key in the new entity. So we're going to take this foreign key, or this primary key of this, and we're going to add it over here as a foreign key. And then we need to figure out the primary key. Now we have enough information to identify a primary key. And it may be a combination of the attribute and the foreign key, or it may just be the attribute if it is unique in the entity. Well, in this case, phone numbers are not unique, so that won't work. User ID is not unique because it can be in this table more than once. It'll be there once for each phone number that that user has. So it's not unique. So it's going to take the combination of both of these to, be, to make the primary key. So it'll be a composite one. I'm going to go ahead and move it to a different kind of table that's already set up to be that wide. I'll simply put phone number here and then move the phone number up here and it will be now the phone number is not a foreign key because it's not a primary key of another table but the user ID is a primary key and a foreign key because it is the primary key of the user table so this table will now replace that one so now I've identified the combination phone number and user ID as the primary key and user ID remains as a foreign key. Now we don't have any attribute here that goes with this entity either. So that puts us done with the multi-valued attribute and in fact it puts us done with all of the foreign keys that need to be added.